Hello, hello, hello. And ho, 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 Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays and all of that good things. I am here. Welcome to the Cup. Welcome to the Cup TV with the currently unnamed podcast where we put the real and the tea in reality. And where you can always come to us first to quench your reality thirst. I am your girl, Lana, your resident evil diva. And I'm here to give the tea, spill the tea, and drink the tea because you know I always need some tea per. And today I'm just currently drinking a lot of water right now because hydration is important. And yeah, but if I was drinking anything else, I would probably be drinking it out of my cup mug. Uh huh, uh huh. You see it, you love it, you want it, go get it. And you know what? You can get it at lonagescreations.etsy.com, where we do ship internationally and domestically in the U.S. So there are no excuses. And you know what? I'm just looking at all of you, Big Brother fans, all of you all over the world, all over the place. Get your cup merch or your cup mug or any of our other merch that is in that in the Etsy shop. You can get that. It's there for you. We're here for you. So period. So we are here to talk all things reindeer games. Yay. Reindeer games. And you know what? That is not even a sarcastic yay. That is a, you know what? Yay. (laughs) I'm actually very excited about this. This was actually so much better than I thought it was going to be. I did not expect it to be this good. I was went in with very low, 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 low expectations. Come to find out. It was actually really good. And I'm so excited about that. I'm I'm actually in, invested and in, interested in watching this whole special that they're doing. I'm excited. I can't believe it was good. It, it is actually as good as it actually is. I thought, you know, sure, maybe it'd be interesting. Or like I said, my expectations were very low. But I was excited to see some of these amazing people back on my screen. So that was the exciting part about this. One of the exciting parts about this whole thing. So let's just get into it. But but, but first, subscribe to this channel. If you're here and you're watching and you're enjoying things that we do, because we put out content almost every single day about almost everything reality TV on this channel. So Hit that subscribe button, the follows, the shares, and all of that good stuff. We appreciate you. And um, we want to grow our channel, so please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you won't miss any of the videos that we put out constantly. And if you're a fan of drag or drag race or anything drag, we cover all of that on our main channel at The Cup Pod and where we put out content almost every single day about almost everything drag. So check us out over there. And then if you happen to be a fan of your vision song contest, you can join us on our new channel at The Cup ESC. Um, and um, we put our content over there all the time about everything, almost everything Eurovision. So check all of those things out. Now we got all that out the way. Let's talk reindeer games. So I personally appreciated the format and the way they did it. I like the it was so Christmassy and cheesy and corny and all of that good stuff, but in such a way that I actually enjoyed it. Um I like the intros. I like how they had everybody coming in separately. And uh, so first we saw Taylor walk in and she looked very festive in her Christmas sweater. <laughs> and she gave us the classic little jingle bells number that she customized for herself. And it's kind of cute. She kind of ate. I loved it. And um then Cody comes in and you know he's they're greeting and they're excited to see each other. And it was lovely. It was they they chit-chatted and then we had um I think it was Frankie or Brittany. Brittany. Brittany came in next. So Brittany comes in next and she's (laughs) 
right off the bat, Brittany Haynes is giving us what we want from Brittany, and she's giving it. She's very like, I know when you think of me, you don't think of Mary or Cheery or anything like that, but you know, I love Christmas. <laughs> And we love that about Brittany. She is just gonna always give us the DRs that we want and that we we need. It's so great to see her back. Um, and then I think Xavier comes in, and that's a good meeting, a greeting between everyone. And then Frankie comes, and Frankie's excited to see everybody, especially Cody. Super excited to see Cody, and they're happy. And then we get Danielle, who is mother. Come on now. Come on now. She is mother. Uh, that is the first person on Big Brother that I personally was a fan of. I watched her entire season. Grew to be a huge fan of hers. I even picked up her, how, what she was saying in the game, how I play games. Because I'm like, she was super smart. Best player to never win this game. But hopefully this might be her year. This is her time. Uh, and she comes in. She's iconic legend. Everybody loves her. Then we get Josh. Josh comes in. He's bringing down the pots and pans. He's yeah, da, 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 da. I think at first I was like nervous if I was going to, in, you know, did I want Josh back in this in the house in the season? I think Josh is a good um addition to this cast because he's um besides Cameron and uh, Taylor and Xavier he's part of the newest you know who's been on the cast he's the newest winner well not the newest winner but one of the newer players in the modern I guess the modern big brother age he was one of the first so it was nice to see Josh back and he brings a um I don't know what I, I I don't know what I, I expected from Josh, but I'm kind of appreciating him thus far on this season. And um, then we get Nicole friends, so she comes in and she's she sees Cody and she's like, I hadn't talked to him since finale at All Stars since he voted me out and I don't trust him and I'm not going to <laughs> I don't want to play with Cody and I'm gonna. You know, Nicole's very petty, and I'm not that mad at her being petty. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, she she felt a type of way about Cody and how he treated her on in the All Star finale. And you know what? Her her feelings are valid. She has every right to feel that way. And um, yeah. So then finally, Cameron comes in. Fresh out of BB twenty five. I don't like. Did he even leave before they filmed this? I don't know. <laughs> but Cameron's there, and um, he is comes in, and he's like, "I'm the new kid on the block. I'm the fresh meat." Blah blah blah. And I'm like, "Yeah." But this is a good group of people. I'm not mad at this cast. I will say, I'm not mad at this cast. I'm excited to. Uh, see what this plays out and if this episode is any indication of what is to come i'm seated i'm excited i'm ready for it because it was actually really good um so we start off everybody's talking and see here's the thing i didn't expect it to well i knew everybody coming in were going to be players because they all played this game before um a lot of them have won this game before Let's see, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five people have won this game before that's in this cast. Um, and so, and some have come really close, but it's like, you knew they were going to gain. You knew they were going to give you, you know, strategy in a game that's supposed to be very comp based, but it's still social strategy that's involved in this because we find out that their challenges and along with the challenge win, if you win challenges comes power with those challenge wins. So you want to win the challenges. And um, so we see them already grouping up, breaking off. 
um, trying to establish alliances with people, um, mending bridges so they can work with people. It was it was very interesting to watch because this this season this is a very short season. It's only two weeks, and so there are no live feeds or anything, and so we don't get that aspect of Big Brother, but we do get the aspect of the change, the games. The talking, the scene, you know, them strategizing and um, playing this game, which I really appreciate because I thought we all thought at first it was going to be all comps. It's like the challenge. And it's like, oh, but no, it is some strategic things that you have to do. You are going to have to talk to people. You are going to have to make social connections with people. And it was good to watch because these people came to play. They all came to play. They came to win. They did not come to mess around. And I love that. I love that so very much. Um, we we see, like we say, we see them grouping off really early on. We saw Danielle and and um, Brittany grouping off, talking, making a and, um, making a little alliance or you know grouping. We saw Josh and Taylor and Xavier and Danielle coming up with a little group, trying to. Um, establish something and having to looking out for each other and this is where mother was mothering the best thing it was like yeah yeah i got your back I, I, I got your back she said but i lied because honestly these three are a big threat all of these three are winners which <laughs> honestly makes total sense to me and all three of them have won the game and you getting in a group with three people winner she's like these are threats to me but i'm gonna let them think that i'm on their side and we will work together until i it's convenient for me and when it gets inconvenient for me i will cut them in a heartbeat and i'm like yes 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 danielle is giving us her inner villain which we love because she, she's not the kind of villain who we hate it's the kind of villain who we just like ooh, yes this is a strategic villain. This is a gamer who is gaming this game, and I'm here for it. Um, it's 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 quite lovely. It's quite lovely. And then we get the Cody Frankie connection because, of course, they were all on. They were both on 16 together. They are friends, and so they wanted to work together. They're like, yes, we got that. It's great. Um, they had that established. And um, then we got the Brittany Nicole conversation that happened because apparently something happened um, not on the show, but off the show. Things that were said, tweeted about e each other or about Nicole. And she got her feelings hurt about Brittany, who she is considered a friend. And so they had to mend their fences in order to try to work together in this game. And they did that, so to speak. So we'll see if that connection actually lasts. So the connections are happening. People are forming groups. But you know who I did not mention in forming any group or talking to anybody? Cameron. He has not <laughs> been forming any those like a, like convert having conversations that we saw anyway. Um, he hasn't, you know, tried to make any social connections that we saw. Like, well, I don't know. Maybe he did and they didn't show it, but we didn't see it. Um, so we find out that there are games are happening, <laughs> games are going to take place. And I don't know. I don't know about y'all. I was just like, is this cool? I, I I started loving it because of the people. And then when the you know actual things started happening, I was like, okay. Okay. So this is for me because I think this is we're gonna get this a lot get jingle bells happening and every time a jingle bell happened something happened something happened and the first time we saw the return of Jordan Lloyd coming back in as she is one of Santa's uh, elf ambassadors and she is here to talk about the first game and she brings out this very long 
long scroll where she has to read off all of this information to everyone. <laughs> I, I personally don't think Jordan was the right choice for the first um, elf health ambassador. She came in with quite a, you know, a low amount of energy. It's like, yeah. hey, y'all, I'm here to talk. I'm the health ambassador. And I'm going to give you the rules for your first challenge. And I'm like, girl, type it up. Give us something. It's the premiere episode. We need some life, some spunk, something. But Jordan was. And so she announced that the first is going to be a naughty or nice challenge. And the first challenge was a mental challenge. Go BB. I'm glad to see that, that everything is not physically right off the bat. So the first one was a mental challenge. And what it is, is they had boxes or gifts sporadically placed around the house. And you had to want your box to be open at one at a time. And it will eventually come out to a song, a Christmas song. And you have to ring the silver bell and go lock in your official answer once you figured out what the song title was. And so everybody goes to the first box and they open a box and it's a house. And it's like, okay, it's a house. All right. And so then they go to the next box and it's a finger pointing up. And so I was like, okay, now we got a finger pointing up. What does that mean either? Who knows? Who really knows? But then we get Xavier going to make a guess. And he guesses grandma got ran over by a reindeer because he's like reindeer's on the roof. Grandma comes out at her house and she get ran over by a reindeer. And then Josh goes in and he gets his Felice Navidad. I'm like, what about a house and a finger says Felice Navidad? I don't know. Then we get to the third present and it's a spinning top. It's a toy or a spinning top toy. And so Brittany is like, I think I know it, but I don't know the name of it. So she's singing it to Danielle. And she's like, Danielle's like, is that what say Nick? She's like, okay, I'm going to try that. And we'll we work together. And if you win it, we'll, you know, we'll look each, after each other. We'll help each other out, blah, blah, blah. So she goes in and gets the old St. Nick. And then Brittany goes in and gets the, up on the rooftop, on the housetop, or up on the housetop. And then a couple of other people guess up on the housetop. And it was actually up on a housetop. And so our naughty, our nice challenge winner is Brittany. Yay. Woo. And this is where we get Brittany at her absolute finest. Because her advantage that she got in the game is that she'll have an advantage in the next challenge. And she'll get to give someone a disadvantage in the next challenge. And so now she's like, Ugh, I was hoping it was safety. Like I'd rather it been safety, not just you know, an advantage in the next game. Ugh. So she's like, who do I give this disadvantage to? It only makes sense to give it to one of the strong guys because this is a bra, not a bra. So <laughs> it's a bra. Of course it can't go against one of these big gold guys in a bra. Um, <laughs> so she's like, I'm going to have to, but who? Who do I give it to? And so she starts holding meetings, like the HOA. She's holding meetings to see who she should give this this uh, brawl, this disadvantage to. And um, she talks to everybody. And we get Brittany. Oh, I wish I caught the sound bites to all of this. But she literally was like, because she talked to Xavier. And Xavier is giving her absolutely nothing. He's giving her nothing. He's like, mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 mm hmm, mm hmm, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, oh, X. 
Give us something. Stop being so aloof. Stop being so nonchalant. Stop being so too cool for school. Like, this thing gonna work like it did for Big Brother 23 because you had you were surrounded by a bunch of people who were cool and wanted to be just as cool as you. Like, stop being so aloof. Like, get in the game. But he was just like, yeah, yeah. She was like, he's giving me air. Like, <laughs> He's giving me nothing. Like, I don't even know who, you know, I want to like him. I want to work with him, but I don't even know him. Like, he's giving me nothing. She's I've never had conversations with any of these people before. And then the first conversation I had with you was like, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah. It's so crazy. And then she talks to Cameron, and Cameron comes in, and he's trying to give her, like, the same pitches that he I guess just gave him big brother. Like I, I'm, I want to work with you. I'm very happy and want to do what I can. And it's just very limited too. And she's like, uh, Cameron is so new. He's still got the, he looks so haggard and tired coming straight out of big brother 25. Like he hasn't recovered. <laughs> he doesn't have that glow, but <laughs> that I've been out of this house long enough glow. It is so funny. She was hilarious. Um, she basically was just like giving the, she, she, she liked people, but she was like, I don't really know. Like she never talked to some of these people. So when she talked to Cody, she didn't really give him an assurance that she wasn't going to give it to him. She kind of was like, I'm just going with the house, the consensus, I'm going to poll and whatever the house, how many, you know, the majority of the house wants, that's who go get it, da, da, da. And he's like, not very reassuring that it won't be me to get to not get it. So, all right, sure. Um, eventually, she ends up giving the disadvantage to Cody, actually. And Cody was just like, ah, oh, well, okay. Here it is. <laughs> She's like, oh, I'm shocked. And, um, He's like, she said she was doing consistent. So that means people were saying my name. Now I just have to figure out who was saying my name. Who was doing it? <laughs> and so well, we saw who was doing it because Taylor wanted Cody to get it. Um, Nicole wanted Cody to get it. Danielle was like, he can get it. Any of these guys can get it for real, for sure. I don't mind that. Um and so, Cody, like I said, Cody ended up giving it. So then we go to the Jingle Bell Brawl. And we see that it's, you have to grab your letters from your station, take it and put it in a mail slot of somebody else, your competitor, somebody who you want to not win. And then once you finish delivering all of your mail from your slot, you can from your station, you can start getting the letters that was put in your slot or in your slot out and taking them back to your station. And once you've done that and hit the bell, you win. And so, you know, typically they run across a bean bag, a bean bag, what am I talking about? A balance beam. (laughs) And they take the thing, run across the balance beam, put it in a slot, go back. And they had to keep doing that till they were empty with their deliveries and then they can empty out their own mailboxes and um yeah that's what it was and everybody had different strategies but most was like like frankie was like i'm putting one in everybody's boxes i'm gonna put one in everybody's box so you just know that's what i'm doing and so they he that's what frankie did and cody okay oh let me talk about the disadvantage this weak weak disadvantage so Brittany's advantage was she had one less letter in her mailbox. And Cody's disadvantage was he had one more letter in his mailbox. Like, what? <laughs> Y'all stressed my girl out all day for one letter. Like, what? What? Okay. Ridiculous. But <laughs> Anyway, they did that. And so... For the consensus, everybody's idea was to just put all their letters in Cameron's mailbox. Cameron had so many letters in his mailbox that he it was just full. Like, nobody else could put one, so they had the default to put it in other folks' mailbox, which ended up being Cody was the default. Um, 
They just had, he just had so many letters. And every time he would put, take one out, somebody will put one in. He just didn't have a chance. Um, Josh struggled on the on the balance beam. He couldn't get across very well. He kept falling. Um, it was really just a typical Big Brother challenge, and it came down to our winner being Frankie. Frankie ends up winning the Jingle Ball Brawl. Jingle Ball Brawl Challenge. And, uh, yeah, so he won safety for the week. And he was, I guess he was like the HOH. Like, he could, he will put the two people into the Santa showdown. And that was his job, to put two people into the Santa showdown. And whoever loses that showdown will lose, will go home. Every, every day, somebody's going home. But the next two weeks, we have this. And every day somebody's going home. And um, so, yeah, that's what we see. The showdown happening. Well, the Jingle Ball Brawl happened and Frankie wins. And so now Cody is like feeling super safe because him and Frankie are aligned. And I will say I was very shocked by this situation because I was told rumors that Cody was the first one out. And I was looking forward to that. And so I was disappointed that that was not the case. I was like, ah, oh, all the rumors aren't true. Hmm. I'm sick of rumors because they're not true. I was annoyed because I really wanted him to go home first. But, okay, sada, sada, we move. Um, so this is what we see Frankie, his strategy is kind of playing both sides of the, playing all sides of the house, honestly, because he was telling, like, he looked like he was working with the girls, but then he wants to work with Cody. And then he made this whole thing with Cody and then Nicole, because they were season 16 and Cody and Nicole kind of in, in Cody's eyes, squash the beef so they can work together. But, of course, Nicole is super petty. She's like, I mean, she's leaning into her villainous era. And you know what? I'm kind of here for it. I appreciate her leaning into it now because instead of acting like, oh, no, I'm so innocent. No, I would never. Yeah, yeah, I would. That is who what I am. And then in these games, it's okay to be that. Lean into that. Like, yeah, let them think, oh, yeah, I'm so innocent. But mm-mm. Mm-mm. And I appreciate that she's owning up to that and she's leaning into it instead of acting like, no, I would not, no, no. Oh, and before I forget, during that uh, ball, jingle ball, jingle bell ball brawl, whatever, jingle bell brawl, we. <laughs> Cody gave me a moment that I just love and I laugh. He um, stuck a letter in Nicole's slot and she was like, Cody, I see you. He was like, in his confession, he was like, Cody, I know what you're doing. Stop doing that, Cody. (laughs) It was the it was the mimicking for me that I was just like, oh my goodness. And Nicole was just like, Cody, I see you. Don't, I didn't give you permission to do that, Cody. Like, what? Girl, okay. <laughs> it was just, that was just a funny moment to me. That was, uh, that moment's gonna live in my head for a minute because that was funny. Um, so after that, we get uh, the conversation. Nicole kind of like inserts herself in the conversation between Cody and uh, Frankie in the bathroom. She's like, look, is it me? Are you putting me up? And Frankie's like, no, why would I do that? I want us to work together. This is special. I love that we're here together and we can work together and I want us to work together. Are y'all good? And they're like, she's like, I guess change your plans. I guess I have to work with them until Frankie's not in charge. And once he's not in charge, I'll go back to Cody and break them up. But, and that's the thing I love. I was like, okay, Nicole, 
All right, redemption arc might happen for you. It could. I'm not saying it might. It is. It could. It could happen. We'll just see what happens. But so after Frankie is winner, he's talking to uh, he talks to Taylor, and Taylor's like, "Who are you thinking?" And she was like, "I mean, Cody is a big." threat. He's like, yeah, I don't want to do Cody. Is it too soon to do Cody? She was like, when are we going to do it? Day three when he can win stuff and sneak on by? And he was like, she's like, I mean, so what are you thinking? And he was like, I mean, I'm thinking about Xavier. And she was like, oh, I wouldn't want to do Xavier right now. Because Xavier, Taylor said, Xavier's her shield. Xavier is her, the person who is in front of her. He's like, you know, and so Frankie was like, oh, oh, so you don't want, you want me to go after my number one, but you don't want me to go after your number one. Got it. Got it. I will keep that piece of information stored away. Mm -hmm. And so he, he, he's clocked how Taylor wants to protect X. Um, Cameron seems like the obvious choice because he's like, you're new. Everybody was gunning for him. Let's just make that happen. Um, Danielle and and um, Brittany both for a sure freaking whatever he would decide to do, as long as it's not them, he, they're okay, they'll support, yada, yada, yada. Um, so we get to, they cut down to the, um, we hear it again, this, this, Oh, 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 jingle bells. That means it is time. It is time for Frankie to make his decision of who he's going to send into the showdown. And he decides to nominate Xavier and Cameron. I kind of saw it coming. It made sense. And it made sense. It made sense. Um, so we get to the showdown. And the showdown is this 56-piece puzzle of a Christmas sweater with a reindeer on it. And um, they had to put together this puzzle. And it was a very complicated puzzle, a lot of little pieces. And then the puzzle stacked on top of each other as well. So it was quite complicated. And then with a Christmas sweater, it was all these different colors. And it was a lot. It was a lot, I will say. It was very, there's a lot of um, things happening. My, one of the funny parts that happened in there, when they got, when Cameron and X came down and they got in their positions to start the puzzle, Cameron was taking his hair and putting it in his ponytail and he's like putting it in his ponytail. And Xavier with his ball head still <laughs> put his hand up and was like, Remember, like, yeah, I'm putting up my ponytail too. <laughs> like, you're stupid. You're stupid. I want more of that side of X to shine on the show. I want him to be funny. I want him to be, you know, more interesting, not so serious and not so aloof all the time. I want him to have fun and be silly with this and have a good time. But that was the moment I was like, he's crazy. But they start this puzzle. And y'all, this puzzle was actually very intense. It was intense to watch it. It was intense to watch them put it together. X strategy was to look at the board, go on, start with the sleeves, and you know, get the sleeves together and work like on the outside borders in. And then Cameron's strategy was to get the reindeer face put together first and then work from the inside out. <laughs> and Jordan was like, oh, that's a strategy I've never seen before. Okay, like choices if that's what you want to do. Choices, and <laughs> but they were going, and Xavier was putting the, his puzzle together rather quickly. Cameron was working really fast and quickly, and had the face and the inside pretty much done. And X had this outside pretty much done, so it was a but of getting each side done with each other, like X working on the inside, camera working on the outside. And so X was, all, was pretty much done. He was missing one piece and he was like, where is this piece? This piece is missing. I thought we were going to have a clown shoe moment. 
because he could not find this puzzle piece. But then he went and he found it and he shuffled things around and moved things around. And finally, Xavier ends up winning Stancher Showdown. Yay! Therefore, the eliminated player is Cameron Gay. I'm going to clap for that because I really want him to go. So am I, I was like, I'm not that mad. I know I wanted Cody to go because that's what I was promised from the rumors. Uh, bootless, but that was wrong. But Cameron was like right there. So if it, if it couldn't be Cody, Cameron is fine with me to go. And I was glad to see Cameron go. And they said they wanted him to go home with something. So everybody leaves with a parting gift. And so you pick a gift from the under the tree. And he they said it ranged from five thousand dollars to other things. I think it's probably a trip in there. And it's, so he picks his. And he gets a a supply of jellies. Yay. Jelly. He can go home, put that on some biscuits or something, a toast. He gets jelly all the time, as much jelly as he wants. Good on you, Cameron. Good on you and your jelly. <sighs> but that was this episode. I I actually really love it. I actually really Love it. I love the uh, whole format of it. And um, Cam like I said, Cameron's gone. So we need to cover the reindeer game is gone. <laughs> but uh, we, we will uh, be putting reindeers up for everybody who's eliminated after each episode. So, yeah. That was it. I am enjoying this so far. I'm sad. And the cast is tweeting nonstop and Instagram about how great, if we like this episode, how great the next episode is going to be and what's to come. And so that's actually making me even more excited about what is next because who knows? I think it's going to be a great time. And um, I hope I feel like when you have a house full of people who've played the game before, who knows how to play, who's won the game before, who's made it very far in the game, they know what they're doing and they know what's expected of them as far as what we expect, like what we want out of diary sessions and things like that. We're getting everything. We're getting strategy. We're getting uh, connections. We're getting great DRs. We're getting great challenges and intense challenges. It was great. I mean, Cameron and Xavier were sweating them just sweating, sweating was pouring off of them in this challenge. One, because they were out doing this in a sweater, but two, it was just that intense. It was just that intense and they worked really hard to do it. It was, it was a fun experience. I can't wait for tonight's episode and we will, are going to be right back here um, tomorrow after tonight's episode to talk about, we'll be, we'll, we'll be right back out here tomorrow at some point and to give you more content about tonight's episode or tomorrow yeah tonight's episode so we'll be back i'm glad you stuck around i appreciate you so much follow the channel subscribe and do all the things to say you support us and we appreciate all of your support and we support you you can follow us on our twitter on instagram and tiktok at the cup pod and you can also follow me if you want on Twitter. And my Instagram is right there if you want to follow me on Instagram. And if you keep scrolling down in the descriptions, you can get your cup of merch. Um, not limited to the cup mug, but we have other things if you feel that you want something else. Get your cup merch at lanagescreations.etsy.com. And we do appreciate you so very much. And um with that being said, cheers, y'all. Cheers. Cheers, cheers, cheers. <gasps> Time to go watch more reindeer.